We're at the Nye County Courthouse where there was a court hearing in Judge Robert Lane's chambers today regarding the primary election results and a case filed by the CCSC members, Attorney Nancy Lord and Donna Cox. She was a candidate for Nye County Commissioner in District 4. First of all, I wasn't just there for Donna Cox. I was also there pro se for my own contest for District Attorney and for Ted Holmes who could not be here. The issue with Donna Cox is more than that of the rest of us. For the rest of us, we simply have some questions about the election. There was just some odd things in the numbers that we want to know what happened. In the case of Ms. Cox, the boundaries were not respected. The people who were living on both sides of the dividing streets were placed in District 4. The clerk had been made aware of it and it was not remedied. And it had come up in the recall and they thought it was taken care of then, did not find out until the Saturday of early voting. But unfortunately, because being pro se, I was in the middle of my race at the time, they didn't challenge the voters. That's why that particular issue failed. In regards to the other issues, we will be getting the materials. We'll be getting the rolls off the voting machines going back to 2008. We'll be videotaping. We'll be making copies of the absentee ballots, the ballots that were printed off for Mr. Baraski the other day everything we wanted. I am actually very, very pleased with the results of this hearing. He said there was not enough evidence on the District 4. He said there were some concerns on the other issues. And rather than make a ruling, he would simply let us stipulate to go ahead and give me the evidence. It was left unstated what would happen if we did find some malfeasance. I'll give you just a few examples. Harley Culkin did great. Town Board, best vote-getting candidate out there. Why did he lose District 3 just two years ago? What happened there? He's obviously very, very popular. There were precincts in my race that were small and right next to each other, where they went 20 votes for Mr. Kent in one, 20 votes for me in the other. Also, I won on Election Day. All of the votes that put Mr. Kent ahead came on early voting and absentee area that's been suspect in this county for a long time. So we at last have a race where it's very clear that the candidate was chosen not on election day, but on the votes that were cast prior. And those were the votes that the counting was not observed. People went to the clerk's office that night to watch. And prior to the start of the counting, they were presented with a fax that was time stamped 729, but the fax said 633. We still do not know when those votes were counted. And once again, that complaint was dismissed. It is up to Nancy Lord and Donna Cox if they would like to refile that complaint. Of course, the state can contest that being out of the five to 15 days they have for contesting a primary election. This is Deanna O'Donnell at the Knight County Courthouse for News 41.